the Laws Museum at the 20 Mule Team Borax Wagon Display and we have Jay. He's going to tell us... Good morning, us, folk. He's going to tell us a little bit about these wagons. Yeah, these wagons are exact replicas down to what kind of wood they're made of, the kind of metal, and the, uh, the fact that the metal is not arc welded at all. It's forge welded. And what you're about to see are exact, exact replicas made by Dave Ingle up at Ingle's Coach Works in Montana. And I will say, there's a word used far too often uh, in today's world that that word is awesome. But these wagons, you'll see, are awesome. Come oh, on in. Wow. So the, these uh, wagons and the reconstructed wagons were first run in the 2017 Rose Parade. They were also run with one of the two-thirds size okay. water tenders. The water tender is still under construction, but should be here for mule days here in Bishop. So this is pretty amazing. Now this wheel is how big? It's seven foot in diameter, over 1,000 pounds. Just for one? For just the one wheel. And it's got a steel tire on it? Yes, the, the steel tire is what might have been rubber in today's world, but it's one inch thick, eight inch wide steel that has to be heated in a fire to uh, be put around the pre-constructed wood frame and then shrunk fit to the wood frame so that it will never come off. Now this looks like it's oak to me, is that correct? There is some oak. On the I understand that this is ash on the siding. That's an eastern ash and uh, eastern oak wood. I'd, I'd like you to take a look at, at those places, for example, up here at this eye on the brake level. Yeah. Well, no, you can no, ahead, arc, you can no, no arc it. welding there. Uh -huh. That's all forge welded. So now this is what you would have seen with the 20 mule team. They would pull a couple wagons like this, train together. Yes. Uh, here's here's what you'll find at the Harmony Borax. Okay, so you're gonna have Death two Valley. of these and then a water tender. And and, and this is exactly. Uh, what the copy and the blueprints that are over here on the wall okay. are, are made from. And what would we put in the barrel? Those, as I know it, were water also. Okay. Here's, here's the route that they took. Some of their camps were dry camps. Uh -huh. uh, there were only two Teamsters, well one was a Teamster, one was a Swamper mm -hmm. that took care of the mules. And, That's uh, the Swamper? The yes. mule, he's the it, mule tender? Yeah, he's, he's the fellow that puts on the harnesses in the morning, okay. takes them off, makes sure they're fed. He's also the brake man. So now this is the brake right here? Yes. And that looks like a big chunk of wood. <laughs> it definitely is that. <laughs> the lever up here. Oh, that's the big brake lever right there then. Yes. I see. Oh, so that... And, and you can see where this is forked over here. Right. Uh, that's also forge welded. Maybe you can see... Yeah, you can. That, uh, it, it looks it's, like it's just one piece, basically. Yes. It took two guys, the swamper and the mule skinner, and the mule skinner was an outrider up here that had a jerk line okay. that communicated with the front mules in the team with which way to turn, uh, go, stop, and so forth. The, the mules learned to 
jump this chain. Uh, because when you go around the corner, oh, sure, the chain's going to come over to keep from cutting the corner. You need to have your back two mules, or the the back four mules, or the back six mules going straight ahead until it's time to make the corner. And because the front mules are dragging the chain around against They've the shanks of the mules, uh, the mules will right. They got to jump over. Jump, jump the chain. Yes. Now, one mule would be attached to one of these, Yes. what do you call those that? Those single tree. A single tree. And there'd be one mule on each one of those. Yes. So this, if you had 20 mules here, this is going to have to be considerably longer. Because you've, oh yes. you've only got six here. Yes, yes. Fourth of July parade, 2017, in Washington, D.C. And if you want to watch that on YouTube. It's on there? It's on there. And if you have a patriotic bone in your body, it's going to vibrate. Because <laughs> seeing these 20 mule teams, the people cheering, and uh, the whole thing, the whole train going down Pen Pennsylvania Avenue. Well, those are pretty cool. Uh, it's not cool, it's awesome. Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> okay, it's awesome. thanks, Julie. I, I, I really do <laughs> believe uh, these are awesome, and we're really looking forward to uh, getting the water tender in here. We're now, are you going to have room to, for uh, them in here? Yes, they'll actually go behind the existing wagons okay. we've measured. Uh, and uh, there's also going to be an exhibit up here of harnessing techniques. Uh, okay. when, when, and we're hoping to, at some point, have a, a diorama on some of the walls uh, showing the mules coming out of uh, yeah. Death Valley. Yeah. Okay, Jay, well, thanks so much for explaining all these mules for us. I appreciate it. And uh, Thanks for visiting. It's, yes, it's uh, been my pleasure. Yes, likewise. And we'll have to come back and see you again sometime. Oh, please. And I hope everybody out there that sees this comes and sees the Borax wagon display. It's pretty cool.